and here we are given f of x is equal to 9 minus of x minus 3 the whole square for x belongs to r and k less than or equal to x less than or equal to 7. Now we need to find the smallest value of k for which f has an inverse then we have to find the f inverse function and also we have to state the domain and range of f inverse. So first thing is we need to find the smallest value of k. So here uh, if we take x equal to 3 then f of x equal to 9 minus of 3 minus 3 the whole square. So equate x minus 3 to 0 so which implies x equal to 3. Hence the smallest value of k is 3. Hence the domain is so the f is 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 7. Next we have to find the range of f. So for x equal to 3 we are getting f of x is equal to 9. Similarly consider x equal to 7. So f of x equal to 9 minus of 7 minus 3 the whole square which is 9 minus 16 which is equal to um, minus 7. So from this range we can take it as minus 7 less than or equal to f of x less than or equal to 9. The second one is we need to find the inverse function. So take y equal to 9 minus of x minus 3 the whole square. From this first we have to interchange the variables x and y. So x equal to 9 minus of y minus 3 the whole square. From this solve for y. So y minus 3 the whole square equal to 9 minus x. From this y minus 3 equal to square root of 9 minus x. So y is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 6. Hence we can have f inverse of x equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 6. Next one is we need to find the domain and range of f inverse. So we know that uh, from this the domain of f inverse is the range of f. Hence we can have minus 7 less than or equal to f of x less than or equal to 9. And the range of f inverse is the domain of f. So 3 less than or equal to f inverse of x less than or equal to 7. Hence the domain and range is calculated. I hope you understood. I request the viewers to kindly subscribe the channel. The link is given in the description box.